our heart will be where our treasure is do you understand is very logical clear to understand go to psalm 51 verse 10 this create in me a clean heart o god and renew a steadfast spirit within me remember this is a prayer in the old testament for god to create in in this case david a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within him in the new covenant we are the temple of the holy spirit yet we need renewal because we find that in the new uh, in the book of acts they prayed for boldness the the place where they shook, where they stood were shaken was shaken do you understand yes but create in me a clean heart god has already done that we need to renew our mind do you do understand if you are in christ you are a new creation is that clear yes since our heart is our real person god's word teaches us that we live from our heart whether you choose to come to church on sunday depends on your heart so don't tell me thousand excuses of why you're missing the gathering of the believers it doesn't matter like i was saying to someone you judge a tree by the fruit do you do you understand yes i'm not saying there are not valid reasons for that but do you understand like if you're not watching the live stream and you say oh the internet is not strong if your life depend on it would it matter how strong the internet was it all depends on how you prioritize things do you understand proverbs 4:23 <coughs> keep your heart with all diligence for out of it spring the issues of life this is one of the most significant texts of scripture <coughs> for understanding life like i said i have written it down so i don't wander here and there so the sermon doesn't end up being 7 hours because i need to get them married yeah <laughs> afterwards yeah so i said wait i'm still preaching yeah the ones when it's time for the marriage yeah and to understand so that's why i have written down no in other versions of this verse the heart is said to be the place from which everything you do flows that's in the new international version in the new english bible it says the heart is the source of all life in the message it says life starts in the heart it's all there in the english translation but the hebrew text literally says above all guarding keeping watch over your heart for out of it are the issues of life identifying the heart as the source of issues of life is not simply saying that the heart is a fountain or the primary or the primal source of life no it also says that the heart controls the course of life meaning if you're on a beach you decide which way to walk yes and that decision depends on where your heart is if your heart is swim you will jump into the water it says don't swim 
and get out and walk on the beach, yes? The same word for issues in Proverbs 23 is used in other places to describe the boundaries of a territory. For example, I was talking about the beach. There's a boundary which the father doesn't cross. That is the land. Do you understand? It describes the point where the boundary begins and the course of that boundary follows from there. Like for example, if you're taking a survey of your land, your boundary begins here. From here, it goes northward 20 paces or 30 paces or 200 paces or whatever. So that is a boundary. Do not move the boundary stone. That's again scripture, yes? The ancient boundary stones, yes? In other words, it begins here and goes from here to there and then to there and so forth. But it has to be in the right place, yes? If it's in the wrong place and you go 20 places, 20 paces forward, you're starting in the wrong place. So what God, sell, God tells us in Proverbs 4, 23, 4, 23, is that our life not only has its fountain in the heart, the foundation of our life in the heart, our heart is not only the spring which our life flows from, but the direction which it, which it takes is determined by the heart. So our life flows from it, but the direction it takes also is determined by the heart. It directs the stream of our life in all bends and turns. Notice issues of life, yes? Plural. So whatever turns and bends there are, your heart will decide as the stream continues its flows, flow. Do you understand? And that is then compared to our heart. Do you understand? In sum, the heart is the spring and the director of all our living. Is that clear? This is how important our heart is. This is why David said, create in me a clean heart. This is why David himself said in the same psalm, you want truth in the inward being. This is why a facade or fakery or as Jesus said, hypocrisy is destructive. And he hinders and hampers our relationship with God in a way that we don't even realize. Because everything we do and say will, will it's like a shield. It's not a shield of faith. It's a shield of fakery. Not bakery, fakery. If you go to bakery, you get puffs. But if you go to bakery, fakery, you're all puffed up. You're all puffed up if you have fakery, yes? <laughs> Do you understand? Why are you smiling? Mm. Don't smile there. But you can smile, but don't be defiled. 